Hello, I'm Alan Partridge, Adobe eLearning Evangelist, and today I want to give you a quick overview of file optimization and using the preloader in Adobe Captivate. You know, one of the things I hear from folks is often they have a question about what will the file sizes be like for my Captivate files? And that question leads us, obviously, to the question of optimization of your files and making your files fit really well as downloadable files. Captivate is really amazing when it comes to optimizing files. One of the reasons is because the way that it handles screen capture and that sort of thing. And another reason is because there are so many tools to help you optimize the download and make it so that a minimal possible download is all you really need to get started playing back your content. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So we'll take a look here quick like. We'll just go here to the Edit Preferences. And one of the first things you can do to make your file download very, very quickly uh, is simply to use a preloader. Okay, so Captivate ships with many, many preloaders. Here you can see I've got the preloader checked, but I haven't selected one yet. I'm going to go here to the preloaders, and I'm going to choose the one called Bullets. I think that's kind of a fun one. I'll say OK. Now, by default, it's set up to preload the entire content. But we don't really want to do that. We just want to preload a small amount. So I'm going to preload, say, 10%, which is really very quick. I'll preload that 10%, and then I'll say... Uh, that's good. And then I want to go here to Swift Size and Quality, and that will determine how much to compress the finished Captivate file. Now I want to get some pretty solid compression, so I'm going to go ahead and set it to Low. And at Low, it's going to automatically calculate for me how to drop down the settings for audio and the settings for images so that they still look fine, but they're much smaller file sizes. So I'm going to do that. And that way my viewers will be able to get a very good look at my project. So here you can see I have a project which has about 300 slides uh, and takes place over almost 26 minutes of time. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, well, this is good. We like this project. I'm going to save this project. We're going to save as. I'm going to save it onto my desktop so it's easy easy for me to find. And once I've saved the, the project, then it's time for me to go ahead and publish that project. And then after I publish the project, I'm going to go ahead and put it up onto my web server so that we can have a look at it online. Okay, the project is saved. Now we can publish it. Publish the project. And I'm going to publish this project as a Flash movie. I'm going to publish it to a folder. And I'm going to export to HTML. I'll just push publish here and automatically that file will be published. Of course, this is a very large project. I'm using a large project to sort of show you that, in fact, even very large projects, 26 minute long project uh, with lots of screen captures and lots of, of bits of video and so forth and so on can all be included uh, for really pretty small end file size. And of course, we're only gonna download 10% of that before we start playing back to the user. That's why we're using that preloader. So you can set, by the way, your, your uh, downloads all the way down to 1% if you want. So uh, anywhere between 1% and 100% can be downloaded. Once it's finished, Captivate will ask you if you want to view the file. In our case, we don't want to view the file right now. Instead, what we're going to do is go to my web server. And we can see here, I'll move Captivate out of the way. And I'll move this web page out of the way. And you can see here, the Captivate has saved the file here. And I'm just going to take the project folder and bring it over onto my web server and copy that content. That brings the content over onto my web server online so that we can actually see the project online. And this is a good time for us to check and see how the size came out on that project. We'll see here that the files are inside here. And you can see now that this movie is just under 12 megabytes. So we've got a movie that's 26 minutes long. And it's just under 12 megabytes. That's actually very, very small. Uh, and uh, so a really good file optimization. Uh, looks like that's going to be great. And of course, we're going to download 10% of that. So somewhere around uh, 130K or something like that is what's going to actually get downloaded to the local uh, file before we actually start doing the playback. We're on my website. And here we can see an index of those files. And I'm just going to refresh here so that we can see the new one we just uploaded. Here's the file that we uploaded the folder. And then here's the HTML page. So uh, we'll click on the HTML page and we'll see the little Captivate preloader come up. And you can see 
then the project starts immediately. Hello everyone, I'm Alan Partridge, Adobe's e-learning evangelist. Adobe is very pleased to announce the new Adobe Captivate 5. This remarkable release feature...